This is Tammy from the Rusted Willow, and I am back with another Thrift Flip, Third Thursday Thrift Flip video. So let's get started. All right, so I pulled these spindles out of my stash, and trust me, I have a large stash, but I don't have enough spindles. I don't think you can ever have enough spindles. And I am using this bandsaw that Beaver sent me, and let me tell you, it is so nice. However, I wouldn't recommend it using or cutting spindles with it. That needs to be cut on a circular saw or miter saw or something because you'll see that these little pieces go flying. <laughs> so make sure you are wearing your protective eye gear. Um, see, there it goes. Went flying. Anyway, you just need to be really careful when using power tools. There went another one. Went flying. So make sure you're wearing your safety goggles. Safety first. Okay, so I cut both ends of the spindles because they were kind of chewed up and I wanted them to be flush. I could have just sanded them and they would have been fine, honestly, because I like the rustic look anyway. I don't know why I even took them to the saw. Okay, then I took the spindles in and now I'm just using my Valspar priming bond or bonding primer. Yes, that's what it's called. And this is like $13 for this size, for a quart jar. And it's a lot cheaper than, anyway, it's a lot cheaper than the other DIY primer. So I have been using this bonding primer for everything. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll list it down below in my box. I get it at Lowe's in my description box. I get it at Lowe's and it's literally $13 uh, for the quart. And now I'm just using my favorite navy. It does not have a name. However, Suzanne, one of my viewers, commented on one of my last videos and she said it does have a name. It's called Rusted Willow Navy. So that's what I'm going to call it. This is my Rusted Willow Navy. It's my favorite navy that um, I bought as an oops paint and I just have them remake it when I run out. And I am painting two of the spindles navy. And I am going to be painting one of the spindles in my favorite red, Spanish tile. And here is a pro painting tip. Obviously, I'm not a pro. So here's my tip for you. Do not paint anything white that you want to paint over in a dark color. I should have just went ahead and spray painted these black, and then I would have only had to put a few coats on. Actually, the navy covered beautifully. It's the red that I had issues with. So if you're going to paint it in a dark color, prime it black or dark gray. Do not prime it white. <laughs> There's your pro tip. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyway, okay. So then I uh, went over one of the spindles with just white regular white paint and it's one of my oops paint colors. Um, it doesn't have a name. It's just a, a white color. I always pick up white, gray, red, you know, the staple colors when they're um, an oops paint and they're on clearance. Super cheap. Okay. So then I don't have a clue where I got this banner, but it is very rustic and I love it. And um, it's been in my stash for probably two or three years now. I don't know. Um, but these little flags are actually glued in place. So they hot glued them on the twine. So that's why I'm cutting them off instead of um, just pulling them off. So I cut them off and then I cut two of the red and white stripe and I cut two of the blue and white stars. They're actually cream, I think. And then I'm just looking to see like, where am I going to put these? I'm going to put these on my spindles. I saw these on Antique Farmhouse. I will insert a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm just deciding on well, actually, first, before I decide, I'm going to make them straight on the ends. Okay. 
and then I just decide where I want to uh, glue them on the spindles. And I do use the Gorilla Hot Glue. Not that these need Gorilla Hot Glue to hold them in place, but <laughs> that's what I'm using. And I put one of each on each of the spindles. And that's it. And I love this. And you can put these in like a white pitcher, You could put these in like this is in my bread bowl that I have on top of my um, faux fireplace. And I just think those look so cute. All right, guys, today, like I said, is third Thursday thrift flips. And I host this every month with Elizabeth from Rustic Chicks Designs. And this month is Mary Beth, our guest host from MB Gray Designs. So go over and visit those ladies' channels if you have not done so already. And I will leave the link to the playlist down in my description box as well as pinned in my comments. So now let's get back to it. Okay, so this is a frame that my sister had in our booth. It didn't sell. It is a Hobby Lobby frame and it is heavy, heavy duty. And I think this is one of my favorite DIYs of this video. Now it does measure 8 by 10. I was just showing you it's 8 by 10 and it does not have a hanger. That's how I know it was from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I have these frames on my wall. I don't know why I used it for this picture, but that's okay because I love it. And my sister, I can already hear her say, oh my God, you just ruined a perfectly good black frame, but I make it beautiful. So that's okay. All right. So I'm just using some spray adhesive and I cut out some foam board to put this picture on this canvas. It's actually a canvas picture. Uh, came from Timu in a package of like 12 pictures and I will be upcycling um, or DIYing those other pictures soon. But I love this cow and I had to have him in my decor. So what I'm doing is I am going to take out this frame. I was going to paint it with white paint, but I took it outside and I primed it with some white spray paint primer. And then I brought it in and I used my latex oops paint. And it's just a an off white. It's it's not really bright white. So I like that it toned down the white spray paint, um, but it is a white color. And now I'm going to take my antiquing wax and go all over it. And I do water down my antiquing wax quite a bit. And I'm just using like a little cotton pad because I don't like these. I can't, I don't know where I got them from, but I don't like them for my makeup. So anyway, I use them for crafting. And I just rub this all over and then I wet it down. And then I take my towel and I wipe off the paint I just put on there. Yes, I did. I made a mess. And then I'm like, oh, great, Tammy. Nice. So I just keep going because it's okay. Because it's still white at the end of the day. So then I just go over it with the antiquing wax. And I am a lot more careful <laughs> this time when wiping it down. But when I did that, it kind of removed some of the paint that I put on there. And then it made it kind of textured as well. And I just left it because I thought that looks, that's perfect. Looks perfectly fine. So then I go back over it with this uh, white oops paint and um, I kind of soften the antiquing wax. And the antiquing wax is still down in the little crevices and it is so subtle guys, it looks gorgeous. I don't think the pictures do it justice and you really can't see on the video very well, but man, I love it. And then I just cut down the edges of this picture and I did get this exacto uh, knife from Timu and I need to change the blade because I have used the crap out of it. And it's obviously, um, 
a little dull. And look how that looks. Look how that looks in this frame. Oh my gosh. Guys, gorgeous. I love my cow. Oh my goodness. I got to think of a name for him. I just don't even know. I love it. So now I'm just going to finish the back. So to finish the back of my pictures, and I don't always show this, but some people do ask, like, how do you finish the back of your pictures? So I'm going to show you in this video because I don't really show this any other time. But when I do craft projects and um, they have a back or whatever, or if I don't paint the back, then I go ahead and I, like, if I'm putting a picture in, I'll tape it down and look. it. That tape is so sticky. I had such a problem with it. Like, I'm like, really? It stuck to itself. I just couldn't even get it off the roll. It was so sticky. So anyway. Oh, and Timu also sent me those scissors. Like, I don't know what kind of scissors those are, but those are some Mamma Jamma scissors now. I I'm telling you what. Like, they're heavy duty. Heavy, heavy duty. So I just go over the whole back with um, the school glue, the purple glue. And then I put some hot glue in the corners and then I just put down my brown craft paper and that paper I get from Dollar Tree and see how dull my knife is. I was trying to cut on the towel too. <laughs> so that didn't help any, but after I get this all glued down, then I just cut off the edges with my X-Acto knife and you have a perfectly finished back to your picture and it looks gorgeous every single time. And if you don't get it cut perfectly straight, you can always go over it with your little finger sander and then you're good to go. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. Oh my gosh, I just love him. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so we are back to this swag here. What's it called? Banner. We're back to this patriotic banner. And I'm trying to get all my patriotic DIYs out of, out of, um, under control or out the door or whatever, because I got to get them in my booth before July. So, um, now I'm just taking this, this is a backing to a picture frame and it's like a little wood piece and it fits inside a picture frame that I picked up at the thrift store. I picked them up at the thrift store. I picked them up at the antique mall, super cheap, like several frames and um, different sizes that are really scrolly, which I'll show you here. But anyway, I already painted the wood uh, backing white to all of these because I was going to upcycle them probably mm, a year or two ago. And I'm just now getting to it. Yeah, I know. Just now getting to it. Anyway, I'm just trying to straighten out the top of this little banner. And then it didn't look right. So I added more Mod Podge. All right, so I get this straightened out again. Go over it with Mod Podge. I want it good and stuck. Then I put it, I, I try to size it. I put it in the back of the frame and it doesn't fit because um, where I painted it white, it was getting stuck. So I had to sand that down on both ends. And then it fit in there perfectly. Then I went to my greenery. I got these small roses from Timu. And if you haven't guessed yet, I am crafting some of my Timu craft supplies. I am trying to use up my stash and get all my thrift items that I've thrifted flipped so that I can bring in new stuff. Now, does that stop me from going shopping, guys? No, it doesn't. I just went shopping today on my lunch hour. 
but I still want to use up my stash and use up some of these Timu items. Plus these little tiny roses are the real fill roses and they are so stinking cute. Now I just take them off the wire and I am just putting a bundle of three down in the corner with some Timu greenery and then I take this blue navy ribbon and I'm just tying a shoelace bow and I'm just making it small and I am just going to add it to the top. I wasn't sure where I was going to add it first of all, but I just add it to the top of this little banner. And this DIY is complete. Okay, it's not complete yet. So then I'm going to add a hanger on the back <laughs> because none of these little frames come with hangers. So I am just adding a little bit of ribbon and that way it can either sit or hang, whichever you want. Isn't that cute? Super simple for a quick and easy DIY. All right, on to the next one or next ones. Okay, so I have already painted these frames. They were already white and they were already that uh, light blue robin's egg color. And I am using, look at this beautiful booklet of scrap paper that I got from, it's like scrapbooking paper from Timu. I love it. It's gorgeous. And I was thumbing through and I went, oh my gosh, I love these. They are so beautiful. The only thing is I wish they were bigger. They need to be bigger, like paper size, eight and a half by 11. That's what size they need to be because they are so gorgeous. I could see using these in all kinds of DIYs. Okay, then Timo sent me these little die cuts. Now these are all different kinds of butterflies and I even found a little leaf in there, which I thought was super cool. But these are very muted colors. I love the green butterflies. That was a little leaf. And uh, these are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just trying to pick a couple of these to DIY up. I'm going to uh, put these in my booth and offer them up as tiered tray decor or just little hangers. Like these would be super cute in your bathroom or, or on your desk at work, you know, just something, little something, something that's beautiful. So I love these little scrapbooking pages. They are gorgeous. Now I have two different size frames. Um, the bigger frames, the Robin's egg color frames have the wood backing and the smaller frames had like cardboard cutouts. So I am just using my purple glue stick and gluing down these pages. And these are so gorgeous. I I didn't realize they were as small as they were when I purchased them, but I don't even care. They're just beautiful, beautiful. And then I had picked a little uh, butterfly die cut with some filigree and, and greenery flowers with it. And I'm just using the top of my glue stick um, lid to rub that down and push it down into the glue because I used the purple glue to put this on instead of Mod Podge. And whenever I used my finger, my finger would stick to it. So I just used the top of the glue stick lid and it worked perfectly fine. So then I go over all of these with Mod Podge because I want them to be nice and stuck down and easy to clean. So if you're dusting, you don't wanna spray it with spray and then have it ruin your picture. So now this last one, I am going to use Mod Podge to put it on. I just wanted to see what the best option to put these on with was. And then I pick it up with my paintbrush and center it on the piece of wood and Mod Podge it down and you're good to go. Then I thought, well, maybe that's not center, but it's stuck. So wherever you stick it, it's gonna stick. It's where it's staying. 
So make sure you get it centered the first time. And I just go over the corners real good to make sure that it's nice and stuck down with the Mod Podge. And then I go ahead and go over this one because I just glued it down with a glue stick and I wanted to make sure that it was not going to come up. And then I go over the edges with my finger sander and sand off any loose edges. And now I'm getting out these beautiful frames and look how gorgeous this looks in the frame. So I do have to sand down all the edges because I did paint over them and evidently I wasn't as graceful with the paint as I usually are. <laughs> usually am. Am I graceful with the paint? Usually are. Where did I learn English? I have no idea. Um, no, I'm not graceful with paint. I am the messiest crafter ever. So now I'm just seeing which one do I want in that picture frame. And here I'm just showing you, I'm sanding the edges and then it fits in there perfectly. I changed my mind which picture I want in there. <laughs> and then to put this one on, I just use, oh, I'm trying to match the ribbon. Okay. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. I just thought these needed a little something, something. So that ribbon does match the pictures and the butterflies. So then to attach these to the back, I just put little dots of hot glue in the corners and then I center the cardboard with the frame. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to tie a bow and put that on there, uh, but I just didn't think it looked good. So I am just using this ribbon and this also came from Timu um, as a hanger in the back. But I put it on there to where, then this is silky. So this is like um, velour. I don't know. It's it's um, brushed. It's soft. I don't know. Soft and silky. I make sure that the soft um, flocked side is facing forward. And I use the same color ribbon for all the pictures. I didn't realize I left all three of them in there. You put one hanger on, you've seen it all. I, I don't understand. It was late. All right. And there's my look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh. That paper from Timu is, is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, now this is my final project. And on this one, I am using nail polish. Yes, I am. So I like to use nail polish when possible. And I am just showing you this is a super simple DIY. Anybody can do it. You don't have to paint the stars. But um, I took some stars that I had in my stash. This gray one, I already painted gray. And then I went over it with... Um, glitter nail polish. The red one was gray as well and I went over it with red nail polish. And then the blue one was rust and I went over it with blue, the navy, the rusted willow navy. And then I just wrapped it in twine and that's it. And there was no rhyme or reason. You just wrap it. I did it messy. You could do it in a pattern. You could do it nice and neat. It doesn't matter. And then you just add it to your bowls. It's just like bowl filler. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And don't forget to go over and visit the playlist and let them know that Tammy sent you. And if you are returning, I want to thank you so much for stopping in today and taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And if you're new here, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, I would so appreciate it as it helps grow my channel and push it out to new people that maybe haven't seen my videos yet. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate that as well. All right, guys, I here is my final reveal, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful weekend, and take care, guys. Bye.